Jesus saves. Jesus saves. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent His only begotten Son into the world. He was born of the Virgin Mary, Isaiah 7, 14. He lived a holy, perfect, sinless life, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. See, Jesus Christ is sinless, and He lived that life for over 33 and a half years, and then He gave His life freely upon a cross to die on that cross for our sins. According to 1 Corinthians 1, 18, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. It's the preaching of the cross. That's what we're doing today, friend. We're telling you what Jesus Christ did on the cross for your sins. He was buried and He rose again the third day. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Why would anybody not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ but people don't believe on Him every day? People still die and go to hell. People still die and go to hell every day, guys. That doesn't change. But you could change your destiny. You could change your eternal destiny today if you'd simply believe that Christ died for your sins. He was buried and rose again the third day. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1. Actually, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Where in the time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for His great love wherewith He loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. It's only by grace you're saved. It's unmerited favor. God gives you that grace through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and He rose again the third day. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Repent towards God and put faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's what must be done in order to be saved. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, much more than being now justified by His blood. We shall be saved from wrath through Him. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, for with a heart Man believeth unto righteousness, and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's that easy. You're a whosoever. I'm a whosoever. And if anybody would call upon the name of the Lord, they'd be saved from their sins. Saved from the wrath of God, according to John 3.36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Without Jesus Christ, all there is is the wrath of God that abides on you. I don't want the wrath of God to abide on you. God doesn't want His wrath to abide on you. That's why He sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day. And the Bible says again in Acts 16, 31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ 
and thou shalt be saved. Bible says in Philippians 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Friend, if you won't do it now, you're going to do it someday. But Jesus died for your sins so you could be saved from your sins. Why would you not bow the knee now? He loves you. He proved his love for you. 1 John 3, 16. Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. He laid down his life for us. He proved his love by sacrificing his life. The Bible says in Isaiah 53, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He is despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. We are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. As John the Baptist quotes, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. In Luke 19.10, Luke testifies, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Friend, if you don't have Jesus Christ, you're lost today. You need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus said you must be born again. Amen. Amen. Give me a shout Appreciate out. Give me a that. shout out. It's all E3. I, I shout out to you. You need, you need Jesus. You need right. Jesus. I, I'm it's not going to It's Jesus. Jesus saves. Amen. Appreciate that agreement. Thank you. Jesus saves, guys. Jesus saves. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Bible says, ye must be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Are you born again? You say, how do you do that? By believing that Christ died for your sins. He was buried and rose again the third day. That's how you become born again. Jesus saves. Sin enslaves. Jesus saves. Religion enslaves. Amen. Amen. Friend, I care about your soul today. I care about where you're going to spend eternity. But God cares more than I do. 2 Peter 3, 9, the Bible says, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God doesn't want anybody to perish. He loves you. That's why He sent Jesus to die for your sins. He proved His love when He died on that old rugged cross. He proved His love when He shed His righteous, sinless blood. He proved His love when He was buried in that tomb. He proved His love to you. He proved His love to me. Oh, friend, He didn't have to prove any love to us. He could have let us all die and go to hell right now. But He did it. He died so that you might have life. He died so you might be forgiven of your sins. He died so you might have eternal life. That's the goodness of God. The Bible says, The goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Romans chapter 1 and 2. Believe the Bible, friend. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Jesus saves. 
religion and slaves. Jesus saves religion and slaves. Flip the screen here. That way you guys can see who's preaching. I'll try to turn it sideways a little bit so you guys can kind of see who I'm preaching to. Friend, I'm a sinner. I deserve to go to hell. I deserve to die in my sin. I deserve to burn in a lake of fire forever and forever and forever and forever and forever because the lake of fire is eternal. I deserve to go there. But so do you. That's why you need Jesus Christ. And that's why I already trusted Jesus Christ. Because He died for my sins. Friend, nobody's laughing in hell. Nobody's la Everybody's a Bible believer in hell. But it's too late. No need to believe then. You need to believe now while you still got time. 